Hi everybody, welcome back to Star Stable. So we're going to continue with the quest from yesterday. So let's speak to Tyler and I. The shepherd landed outside Silverclip Village has bought a herding dog. His name is Techno, and he is the big brother of the dog, Disco, who lives in Silverclip Village. Maybe you've seen him. Anyway, it turned out that Techno was more of a watchdog than a herding dog. Landon will let us take Techno and use him as a watchdog outside the riding stable. I said guard dog, I didn't actually expect her to take it literally. Um, okay. A solution that would be perfect both for us and the dog, and I promise that no one will vandalize the riding stable with Techno in, well, te when Techno is watching over it. Landon said that Techno is ready for delivery today. Maybe you can ride over there and get our new watchdog. Okay. Alright, Ruby, I hope you don't mind. There's going to be probably another dog sitting on danger okay. So let's go and get Techno then. What a strange name for a dog. Oh! That dog is tiny! He's like a wee Scotty. I heard that you were coming over. This is Techno. Say hello to Dragoslava Techno. Hello, Techno. You're a very small dog. It's very disappointing that this has happened. I will miss Techno, but he is not as happy as a herding dog, and I'm sure that he will have, have it much better with you. I will come and visit him sometimes, if it's okay. He's such a nice dog. I think you can carry him in your backpack. Take Techno and ride back to Tyra. Right, shuffle over Rubes. Oh, he hasn't actually appeared in the backpack. Ruby, are you sitting on him? I hope you're not sitting on him. You better not be. Alright, we'll go back over to Tyra now. Oh, he is adorable, and he looks like a perfect watchdog. Do you mind going with Taku to the riding stables? I have a bag with dog treats here, and if you give them to him, he will follow you. Come back to me later. I want you to help me build a dog house for Taku. Okay. Um, where's the dog treats? There's the dog treats. Where do we put the dog treats? Oh. He doesn't look like a Scotty anymore. He thought he looked like a Scotty, but no, I'm not so sure. Deandra Kick. Stop dancing. He's more like like a pit bull. Or a staffy or something. Alright, let's give him a, a treat. Away he goes. Alright, Deandra Kick, keep up. And don't stand on him. <laughs> Look at him go. I'd say Mr. Campbell would get a right bite. Because dog bites him. Oh, whoops. There we go. I don't know why we couldn't carry you in the, in the backpack again. Maybe you and Ruby weren't getting along. This is like chasing lemons. Lemons. The mountain. Oh, whoops. Keep going, Techno, keep going. Watch out! And he's just got mowed down. I suppose you know what they say about little dogs. They say that little dogs think they're big dogs. So Mr. Campbell will probably get a really, really bad bite if he tries to vandalize the riding mall again. I would say Tackle will see to that. It's almost like he's swimming. Because his wee back legs are going so slowly, but his front legs are like, phew, phew, phew. Keep going. We need two more drug treats. You may make the most of it. I keep trying to feed you my jacket. Goodness knows Ruby would eat my jacket, so. Oh, maybe he doesn't need any more dog treats. Oh, maybe I do have, no, I have to give you two more dog treats. Hold on. There. And to give you another one. Do you want the last one? No? Okay, well I'll keep that for future use then. Bye bye, Techno. 
You see Mr. Campbell, make sure to give him a good nasty bite. Wait a minute. Use a trailer. Oh wait, now he does want another dog treat. Right, fine, I'll give you another dog treat. But this is the last dog treat I have. I'm trying to feed you my jacket again. There you go. See you later, Tekko. We'll use a trailer this time. So, how is it going? Good, but I'm sure that the, he will feel more at home if he gets a house of his own. Okay, it looks like I have to come back tomorrow to actually build him his house. Okay, so we're heading over towards Ed Field because soon a bit more work in the Valley of Hidden Dinosaur. I finished building the horse care facility and we got two more ladders in the mail and one was from Ed Field and then another guy who wanted to set up a shop. So Ed wants to set up a restaurant. So we're going to talk to Ed and see what more he has to say about this restaurant. Now where is he? Oh, there he is. Ed, you've lost your hat again. Mm. You're just ridiculous. Dragoslava, did Professor Einstein send you? Awesome. This idea is absolutely epic. Opening another restaurant there, another branch of the Wolf Hall in Empire. An incredible roadside hangout where busloads of tourists are going to stop, eat my culinary masterpieces and see entertainingly entertaining entertainment. I'm way too busy to do it myself, so I'm leaving the responsibility to one of my best employees, our new kitchen assistant, assistant Igor is showing tons of promise and he's really been eager to advance. He's going to be perfect for our new chef, waiter, bouncer, turned group leader, manager, cab cabaret artist. You got enough things for him to do? No way, Dragoslava. I'm not insane. It won't work just to set him loose on the job without saying first what he's made of. He's only been here two days, so there's a chance I've misjudged him, even if I am an amazing judge of character. You can chat to him if you like, see if you can find any cracks in his amazing personality. Okay. Okay, so he's in there. Okay. Ginger Kick, you stay here. What the devil was that? You some kind of monster in there. Ed, what are you... Ed, stop pointing at me. It's rude. Right. What the... He looks like he's high on Smarties. Looks like an Undertaker as well. Your kitchen's very messy. I don't know if you should be in the valley. <laughs> okay. Do you s want to, you know, tell me a bit about yourself? No? Uh, dinosaurs. Sounds delicious. So you're taking me to the valley of the hidden dinosaur. On board your glorious horse, I saw it outside. What's its name? Danger kick? A little salt? A couple of hours in the oven? An apple stuffed into its mouth. Uh, what? Do I want to eat danger cake? Oh, no, no, no. Danger cake is safe now, my sweet child. I'd never do such a thing, I promise. Igor licks his lips and seems to have forgotten that he's staring pretty intensely at danger cake. You decide it's best to speak to Ed Field again. Yeah. This guy is way high. Like, severely. And he wants to eat danger cake. Danger cake, buddy, I think you should, like, you know... Be prepared. Maybe buy some armor. Something that somebody can't bite through. Like, you know that shark? That shark mesh that people get on whenever they go to the sea? He wanted to eat danger kick? Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, Ed. Now, now, let's not be hasty. All geniuses are a little eccentric, and I'm sure he didn't mean it seriously. He was joking with you. Chefs and cooks, you know, always a little bit special, haha. <laughs> You don't think he was joking, and that he wants to actually eat your actual horse. Yeah, yeah, well, let's not get hung up on details. This is like one of those problems that isn't really a problem kind of things. Like, imagine if he... We didn't have a chef at all. Well, that would be a problem. Well, anyway, if you don't think he's up to the job, then we'll just have to test him out. Hmm. Try and come up with some way to put his cookery talents to the test at the same time as giving him a trial run on his financial and entertainment skills. If he doesn't pass the test, I promise we'll find someone else. Right. What kind of test am I going to give this guy? Maybe I can get him to juggle potatoes. I don't know. Test his cooking skills and his ability to cook. Not really, but close enough. Hey. <laughs> Danger kick, I've missed you. <laughs> yeah, I bet you have. Everyone loves kicks and hot dogs. Danger kick, though. Maybe not hot dogs, though. So, Dragoslava, 
You want proof that I can make really delicious, flavorful food? Okay, then I'll make for you my signature dish, Dragoslava. <laughs> I call it Igor's Paradisco Luxury Taste Party Gato. <laughs> mm. You need to help me find some luxury ingredients, Dragoslava. <laughs> Eggs, flour, sugar, cream, and strawberries, and one secret special magic ingredient, hot dogs. Mm. None of those ingredients are in the pantry, but they're certainly in Mr. Ed's storage. <laughs> Get them for me, Dragoslavus. Secure those delicious goods for Igor. <laughs> mm. Anyway, with you now, Dragoslava, but you, Danger Cake, you can stay here, you big beauty. What? I won't eat Danger Cake, Dragoslava, I promise. He so off you go, Dragoslava. You really don't trust Igor. Who knows what'll end up in the food if he gets to run the restaurant. You think it's best to find some other ingredients than those he asked for, just to make sure the tests don't go as well as they should. So now we're sabotaging Igor. Right, um, I suppose they'll probably be outside, but we'll speak to him again. <laughs> so Mr. Edfield wants to see if I can give the guests an entertainingly entertaining time. <laughs> um, entertainment isn't exactly my thing, but I can maybe play a little guitar for the guests. Bring my guitar to me, Dragoslava. You really don't trust Igor. Who knows what he'll end up in the food if he gets to run the restaurant. You think it's best to find some other kind of instrument for Igor instead of his guitar, just to make sure the tests don't go as well as they should. Okay, so we're sabotaging that as well. And what's the last thing? An unexpected test. Uh, oh, Dragoslava, you want proof that I can handle finances? Uh, I swear, I'm an economic maverick, Dragoslava. I swear this to you, my friend. I actually have a degree from the University of Jorvik in business economics. Uh, take a look at my precious certificate. It's beautiful, Dragoslava. So beautiful. Uh, Take a look over there, Dragoslava. Look very closer at my ledger. Uh, it shows every single Yorvik shilling that I spent on food here in the Wolf Hall Inn. <laughs> yeah. Show it to Mr. Ed Field, and you'll surely see that my finances are made of solid gold. <laughs> he has nothing to worry about, Dragoslava. Tell him Igor will never let him down. <laughs> you really don't trust Igor. Who knows what he'll end up in the food if he gets to run the restaurant. If you had a pen, you could add a few extra zeros here and there just to fiddle with the ledger and make sure Ed Field sees that the tests don't go as well as they should for Igor. I think my character is pretty set on ruining Igor's life. But he did want to eat Danger Kick, and we've got to save Danger Kick. But there's no pen that I can see. Wait a minute, is that a pen? There is a pen. I'm just drawing a unicorn in your book, okay, with my jacket again. I'm going to put my jacket down here so I stop trying to use everything. There we go. Forging. Why has he got a picture of Andy in here? This is just getting weird. Right. We'll go outside and get the other ingredients. Right, there's something over there. What's this? A rotten egg. <laughs> I think my character's pretty salty about all of this. Um, I don't see anything else lying around. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I missed something. What's this? Road salt. Yep, that's gonna be pretty gritty. Maybe we need to go up behind the hole. Did you I'll bring you with me because I don't think it's good to have you out of sight. I'm not watching Igor, I should at least keep you with me so he doesn't eat you. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's anything first. What's this? Talcum powder. Yep, that's gonna go down well. What's in here? Oh, there's loads of things in here. Uh, wood glue. Yep. Uh, what's in the corner here? Soap. Okay. We can give him a bath with that. Um, hot dogs. No, okay. Everyone loves hot dogs and cake. I don't know what that last item was, but... Seems to have worked. What's this? Instead of guitar. Okay, I think we've got everything we need, so we just need to speak to Ed now. No, actually, we'll speak to Ed after. We'll go talk to Igor first, and we'll leave Danger Kick with Ed. Not that I trust him, but... I mean, he can't even look after his own hat, so he's hardly going to be good enough looking after Danger Kick. Ruby, if anybody tries to eat Danger Kick, bite their head off. Thank you. Alright, we've got all the stuff. Let's see what he says. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Soon you will have the joy of tasting the finest food you've ever eaten. <laughs> okay. Uh, instead of a guitar. Um, Dragoslava, that's not a guitar. Uh, what is that? 
Uh, oh, Dragon's Lava. I don't know. Uh, are you sure Mr. Edfield will like this? Uh, I've never played a birchwood horn before Dragon's Lava. It's not at all hard, you say. Mr. Edfield loves wind instruments. Okay then, Dragon's Lava. But what should I play, Mr. Edfield? Can't get enough of progressive improvised jazz, you say. Oh, okay then, Dragon's Lava. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I like that Dandra Cake is tapping his foot to it. <sighs> Let's see now. Uh, take a step back so I can prefer my paradise to a luxury taste party gato. Uh, you too, Dandra Cake. We wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Not right now, anyway. <laughs> so there you have it. Into the oven goes the cake. <laughs> Oh dear. Yep. Sort of expecting that. What? It actually looks like a cake. <laughs> Voila! Igor's Paradise Luxury Tea Sparty Gato. <laughs> hmm, doesn't smell quite normal. Uh, would you like to try some delicious, delicious cake, Dragoslava? Hey, uh, almost as delicious as barbecue whore. Uh, of course, um, I, I, I don't eat horses. Uh, men. You think Mr. Edfield should have the honor of tasting the first bite? That's very noble of you, Dragoslava. Uh, well, well, I really hope he likes it, Dragoslava. Uh. Okay. Let's see what disaster unfolds. Ooh. A ledger! Igor has recorded every single Yorvik shell he's spent here at the Wolf Hall in. Magic! What attention to detail he's got. I should read very carefully, you say. Is that really necessary? Okay, okay. Take, I'll take a closer look. Now, right, let's see here. Two pounds of flour. Two hundred Yorvik shillings? Hmm. One gallon of milk. Five thousand Yorvik shillings! Okay, one egg. A hundred thousand Yorvik shillings. Oh my gosh, Dragosava. I don't know what to say. The guy is a flaming genius. He totally knows what he should be spending money on. This 100,000 euro shillings egg must have been something truly incredible. It's obviously worth every single shilling. There's always a price for, equal for quality, Dragosal. That's what I always say. You get what you pay for in this world. Oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, let's see. Hmm. Sniffle. Magic. Simply magic. Who knew Igor was such a wonderfully gifted musician? He's going to be a runway hit with the guests, with those kinds of beautiful melodies. So beautifully gentle, reminds me of my mama's lullabies. I feel so relaxed and harmonized. I think I've just cemented Igor's reign in the whole fallen legacy. Mm -hmm. Oh, check that out. What a creation. Igor's paradise of luxury taste party gato. I must have to try it. I just have to try it. Chomp. Hmm. Scoff. Ooh. This, this is, this is the greatest cake I've ever eaten. Par, par disco indeed. Danger cake, don't you dare bite into that. Don't you dare. Don't even look at me. Sweet, like mega sweet. Igor exceeds every expectation I could ever have had. Dragosava, you, couldn't you take him with you on horseback to the valley of the di hidden dinosaur? No. All right, no worries. I'll arrange transport for him. You just need to meet him there. Go give him the good news, Dragoslava. Okay. Did you get stay with Ed? Hey, I passed the test, Dragoslava. Mr. Ed Field was happy. I knew he would be. So I'll just jump up behind you on Danger Kick. No, uh, I was looking forward to getting to know Danger Kick a lot better. <laughs> Mr. Edfield, maybe he has arranged for me to have a horse of my own. Heh, <laughs> perfect. I was starting to get a little hungry. Ask Mr. Edfield about it. Heh, <laughs> oh dear, no. This is not good. This is not good at all. Hmm. What? Igor wants to eat a horse? Ah, he's just joking with you, I'm sure. What a guy, eh? It's just awesome that he has such epic humor. I've got a cart to take him to Valdeo, so don't worry. Hmm? You don't trust him at all, for real, you mean? Um, okay, okay, I've got total confidence in Igor, but I can, of course, try and work something out since it's you, Dragoslava. Igor 
is amazing in every way, but he's going to be so busy with the restaurant that it's probably best I send him one of the best employees along with you both. Here's my key, Chan. Unlock the door to the storage up there and tell Frankie to come with you. You don't need to worry. Frankie's a diamond guy with a heart of gold. He gets a little bit aggro sometimes, but just give him the chicken leg and he'll be putty in your hands. Sweeter than a kitten. I'm getting slightly concerned the more and more this continues. Right, who am I looking for? Frankie. Is Frankie up here? Um... I'm assuming he might be up here, because this looks like there's storage up here. Ah, yeah, that looks like. This looks about right, let's see. Um, key? Oh, you need to be dismounted, right. Did you pick? Move back. What the devil? It's Frankenstein! Well, Frankenstein's a monster. No, I can't talk to him. Maybe I need to give him this first. Nope, still can't talk to him. Oh, okay. Frankie! Frankie! Frank! Frankie! Frankie seems to be in some kind of distress, or is he just hungry? Right. There we go. That should make him happy. Chop, chop. Frankie, Frankie, you back in Frankie to follow you. He seems to understand what you mean. Hmm. Frankie follows you as long as you're nearby. He'll go wherever you want. Hmm. Oh, cool. I don't know why I've got the Adams family stuck in my head now, but I do. Well, actually, I do know why. Frankie, why are you confused? Do we have to go down this way? Can we not go down the other way? Alright, well, we go down this way then. No, Frankie! Oh. No, come back here. Right, we're go okay, we're going this way. We're going the other way. No, 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 no! Right. Just keep going the way you were going. Oh. Just keep going. Okay. Maybe we'll get down to where we need to go. No, no, not that one. You're unbelievable. Get back here. Come this way. Yes, go down the hill. Right. Get down that hill before I boot you down the hill. No, no, come back! Right, just keep going down the hill. Give me a sec. This man is unbelievable. No, 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 no. Come back here, Frankie. Come back here. Thank you. Right. Finally. Hello, big guy. Oh, Frankie, it's been ages. You look great. Lost weight. Ed, I'm gonna smack you in a minute. Frankie is my best buddy in the whole of Yorvik. What do you say to this? How do you fancy being a waiter and a wine expert at my new restaurant in the Valley of the Hidden Dinosaur? Pretty sure he's gonna freeze to death, to be honest. Frank. Hey. Frankie. Well, I seem pretty happy about it. Sweet. What a team we've got together, Dragoslava. I do not actually believe this. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had a lovely day. Bye.